Something happened when Atele writes that Ever Darkness and the Secret Hideout was released. I'm not sure if it had to do with timing or something else, but there was a significant increase in interest for the series following the launch. Oh hell, who am I kidding? I know it was just Reitza who brought in a new generation of fans. Still, those who played through the adventure found that some significant changes were added to make it one of the best entries in the series to date. To capitalize on the success, Gus is releasing Atelier Reitza 2, Lost Legends and the Secret Fairy, a sequel that takes place three years after the events of the first. After playing for more than a few hours, I'm glad to see that the developer didn't get comfortable delivering the same game as before. Atelier Raisa 2, Lost Legends and the Secret Fairy opens with Raisa finding herself in a new adventure after Tao sends her a letter to visit the capital. So, she's off, and the quest has her moving to the capital to investigate ruins and practice her alchemy. At face value, this premise is a bit weak, but I feel like the narrative of Atelier titles become more grand the more you play. Sooner or later, all the pieces will connect, and the once carefree group of adventurers will get serious as they take on a powerful foe. However, Atelier Raisa 2 has some unique features that had me caring less about the story and more about where the adventure will take me. One of the most significant updates to the gameplay is the exploration itself. Players will find right so can climb walls, swim, and swing short distances. And surprisingly, this opens the door to more creative ways of collecting materials, which has always been one of the key components of any Atelier adventure. However, it feels a little different here somehow. I look at the environment and instead of seeing straight lines to small contained areas, I see vertical landscapes full of materials and ways to make your way around. The materials themselves require you to interact with them, but the developers have played around with Wright's new abilities to give her access to additional ways to collect these items for synthesis. It works well and makes returning to areas a bit more interesting as the fields appear to have various materials available instead of a short list. Monsters also roam the lands and provide materials when defeated. There's a chance that you might gain a rare item after a fight, which only adds to the growing list. Synthesis in Atelier Writes at 2 has been streamlined to allow players to simply choose the quality, which speeds up some of the fetch quests instead of spending time making items over and over again. On the plus side, Writes up brings her alchemy skills to this entry, so we can mostly focus on traits and quality instead of reaching a certain level to create items. It's typically around hour 12 that I begin to try and create decent items, so I'll hold off my judgement until then. But for now I'm enjoying this new system. I need to quickly mention that the battle system here shapes up to be one of the best in the series. It's focus on turn based action flows nicely as the active battles are streamlined to allow players to focus on one character of the four during each of the battles. It's possible to set the character's commands, but I found that only controlling Reitza worked out well and opened the door to some unique attacks and joint special attacks to cause more serious damage. As I make my way further into Atelier Writes at 2, Lost Legends and the Secret Fairy, I'm going to pay more attention to how the battle system evolves with the growing cast of playable characters. There's also a layer of customization and a few key elements of this adventure that I'm eager to learn more about, including the new character Fee, who also acts as a traversal form. Although, it's also good to mention that Wright's clothes appear to be wet when it's raining, and that might be enough for fans to pick up the game regardless of what I think. Rights of 2, Lost Legends and the Secret Fairy is coming to PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Nintendo Switch, and PC via Steam on January 26, 2021. Thanks for watching. Please read the full preview at NoisyPixel.net. NoisyPixel is run by a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all our future content.